Hello and welcome back to another GCSE revision video. Now, when it comes to creative writing, one of the areas that students most find challenging when doing stories and even descriptive writing is having the ability to bring the stories to life, to bring the descriptive pieces to life using powerful vocabulary and especially ambitious words. A lot of students, especially even students in year 11, simply don't even know about these words. They don't know how to use them or even their meanings to then even be able to incorporate them into their stories. So guys, when it comes to creative writing, and of course, one of the things that I'll always say with creative writing is make sure you use really powerful language and powerful techniques to bring your stories to life. The best way to do so and the best approach to take, especially if you're in year 11 and you've got two months before your final GCSEs, is start memorizing interesting and ambitious words, okay? So in this lesson, I'm gonna be presenting with you guys 10 ambitious words that if you use today in your creative stories, especially in your final round of mocks, not only will you see your teachers love your narrative, but most importantly, you can walk in to your language paper one exams and answer that question number five in a way that's really, really powerful, okay? So guys, what I'm gonna do is present uh, creative words and especially ambitious words that you can use in your creative writing. I'll tell you the word, the meaning, and then give you an example that you can also incorporate into your writing, okay? So starting off, word number one is disenchanted, okay? This is a really nice and powerful adjective that simply means disappointed, okay? And a great way that you can use it in your story, for instance, if you've got a protagonist who's a guy, he perhaps grew disenchanted with his friend. Or even for instance, when he arrives at a particular location which he has built up so much excitement around, he then sees it, it doesn't meet his expectation and hence he grows disenchanted with it. That's your first ambitious word to include and incorporate into your creative stories. The second word is ethereal, which simply means something that's very delicate in a way that's not of this world, okay? So there's this kind of delicate beauty, but it also seems supernatural and otherworldly. For example, if you're using this word, you can talk about how the ethereal music wafted into the great hall. Or even for instance, if you're in a forest, right? And then you hear distant ethereal music. That's really, really powerful, ambitious language. The third ambitious word is ornate, which simply means something that is highly decorated. And this is how you can use it in your stories. You can describe an ornate gate, an ornate entrance, even an ornate door, okay? The fourth ambitious word is the word ubiquitous, which means something that is found everywhere, something that's everywhere all at once, right? For example, you can talk about the leader's ubiquitous influence. And, you know, even for example, when you're thinking about company logos, right? Or even, uh, for example, smartphones, social media, you can say that they are ubiquitous, okay? The next and fifth ambitious word is the word exquisite, which means extremely beautiful and delicate. Now, in terms of using this word, you could use it, for example, to describe exquisite jewelry, anything that looks very beautiful, but also in a very delicate way, okay? The sixth word is vivacious, which means someone, usually, or even an animal or a pet, that's very lively and animated, okay? You can describe them as being very vivacious. You can even say, for example, describe relatives. For example, my vivacious mother, you can talk about vivacious woman. Um, your protagonist can be vivacious, for instance, okay? The seventh ambitious word that you can use in your stories, of course, is describing someone as being jaunty, which means cheerful and self-confident. For example, he struck a jaunty pose for the camera. The next ambitious word, number eight, is unscrupulous, which means, and obviously this is now a negative word, okay? And this is a negative adjective. For instance, um, unscrupulous, which means dishonest or, fair, or unfair, you can describe an unscrupulous businessman, or in this case, unscrupulous landlords. The ninth word to use, and this is actually an interesting verb, is the verb tottering, which means feeble or unsteady, right? So for instance, you can use the following phrase, okay? So um, swaying on her feet, she took a few tottering steps, okay? So this is describing how unsteady she is as she's moving, okay? And the 10th ambitious word that you can use is metropolis, for example. 
I live in a very Boston metropolis, which is called London. And of course, metropolis simply means a large city. And this is how you can use it. For instance, you can talk about a sprawling modern metropolis, for instance, London, New York, whatever, if that's where your setting is. And the bonus ambitious word, which I want to share, which I absolutely love because it describes kind of a more countryside uh, imagery. And it also describes, for instance, if you set your story in the countryside, basically outside of the city. So in other words, quite opposite to a metropolis is this adjective bucolic, which means an idyllic, perfect countryside and this is how you can use the word bucolic right for instance if you are setting your story your description in a more idyllic kind of perfect looking countryside for instance you can say absorbing the sights and sounds of the bucolic world around her for the first time in days she finally relaxed okay so of course these examples that i'm giving and these sentences these are phrases that you can use to get yourself started but Obviously, what I would like to suggest is with all of these ambitious words, try to now get used to using them and then you can also incorporate them into your own made up phrases. OK, so that's really it when it comes to 10 uh, with a bonus 11th word, ambitious words that you can use in creative writing.